the tiny house movement. It's taking over cable TV. More and more people downsizing for some. It's an upsizing to 100 to 400 square feet. And any time we see a really big movement as a Christian, I stop and say, what's up with that? That is what we are doing, taking a look at what we think is the worldview of the tiny house movement, why so many people these days, mostly millennials, are inclined to get something far smaller than what mom and dad had, and then comparing it to everything the Bible says about home ownership, and it says a lot. In fact, I came up with give or take two dozen things from different angles that we need to consider when we ponder how big should our home be. Here are some of those thoughts. Number 21, owning a big house is not a sin, but it can be. You see, the issue is not the size of your home necessarily. It's what's going on in your heart. Consideration number 20. Owning a tiny house is not a sin, but it can be. Once again, doesn't matter how lavish or basic your home happens to be. It's what's going on in here that is the true issue. Consideration 19. Tiny house owners can be as worldly and covetous as mansion owners. That's right. Poor people can be far more covetous than some fat cat on Wall Street because it's a heart issue. Just because you move into a small home, that doesn't mean your battle with desiring stuff is gone. That is an external fix. But remember, we are talking about an issue of the heart, which is another demonstration of the brilliance of the Bible. Why didn't God simply write down, for all times, in all places, nobody will own a home that exceeds three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, and 1,250 square feet. Why didn't he do that? Because at different times, in different zip codes, there are going to be different lifestyles, and they don't need to be equitable, which, as a side note, if you've ever heard somebody say, you know, in Tibet, the average square footage is eight feet and we're living in mansions in America. Now, I get that, but we're not living in Tibet. We're living in America. God recognizes that because he designed that, and the Bible gives liberty to degrees for each of us to determine how big or small our home is going to be based on where we're located. Consideration a number 18, a tiny house can still own you. Remember those experts that Steve Harvey brought on? Hey, we should be owning our homes and not vice versa. Well, that's true, but a tiny home doesn't make you feel that way. It just doesn't matter. It, it, you can still spend too much time frittering around the house, loving your house, constantly doing, oh, I've got to just beautyize it. That's right, I just said beautyize it. I've got to make it prettier, I've got to make it nicer, and you can become obsessed with that. Now, all of those pursuits are acceptable, but if it becomes an idol, then it doesn't matter how many square feet you are living in. Consideration 17. If we are out of balance, buying a tiny house will fix your external problem, but not your internal issues. Consider the teenager who likes to take a three-hour shower. You got one of those? This kid you have told, make it snappy. Hot water ain't cheap, you know? We're living in a drought. You gotta go quicker when you take a shower. And the child refuses to comply because his heart desires something that his authorities have said is fair boten. So mom and dad decide, then here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna give our child a bucket of warm water every morning, and he has to make do with that as we shut off the tap to the shower. Now. Does that help your son take a shorter shower? Yes. Does it help your son with his heart? 
No, and neither does simply buying a tiny house. This is the crux of the issue. If you're a Christian and you're considering a tiny house, I'm not telling you to take that option off the table. I am suggesting that you would do well to spend time examining your heart. What's your motivation? What's going on? Is there an idol that needs to be cast down? Figure that out, and then should you choose to buy a tiny home for correct biblical reasons, then buy a tiny home.